We're now going to construct a six bar mechanism based on the clan walking leg, um, leg mechanism. It's essentially a Stevenson six bar linkage. We're going to start with a four bar linkage that we've constructed with a given, um, with a particular coupler curve. In this case, the coupler curve is generated by ball's point, so it's got a very straight section, even though it bends a little bit over here. Uh, I've copied this over to the side. I've got the angle alpha that allows me to sort of reposition it so I can get the coupler curve, coupler curve facing downwards. And I have the crank as gamma, which I can animate so we can see how the leg moves. Uh, we're going to now add the components for the leg mechanism. The clan linkage is essentially a Stevenson 3 six bar linkage. It has a fixed pivot, which we're going to position here, make it nice and big. Uh, and then a, another a moving pivot attached to that fixed pivot that is then connected to the coupler point. So actually you can connect it anywhere, but we're going to connect it to the coupler point. And then, so here is a moving crank. I color it red to give it some distinction. Uh, and now the foot is just uh, another point. connected to this link here. So this will be our model for the leg mechanism. It'll be driven by the coupler curve, and then that coupler curve through this link will generate our foot trajectory. So let's now copy that over to here. What we have to do is we have to find the angles relative to the base link so let's do that now. We'll measure them. So we'll measure the angle here, which is going to be labeled uh, iota. I can never find iota in the uh, in the list of characters, so I'm just going to do it again. And then that gives me kappa. All right, so now I can draw kappa. So we'll do it from here to here, and we'll put in kappa. OK, draw that line. That gives me one side of this base triangle. I guess we could draw it in here so you can see it. So it's here to here, and make it light gray. And then here to here. Uh, that's one side. Now we'll get the other side. We'll measure this angle from here to here to the base pivot. And that's mu. So we'll now copy it on the other side. Okay. Mu. The line. Here it is here. And then the intersection is the pivot we're looking for. That'll be the third base pivot of our for our Stevenson 3 mechanism. It's going to be it's similar to or it's based on the clan. Okay, let's hide all of this stuff that we don't need. Hide the lines. And uh, let's now construct this point. Let's, let's get it back so we can see it. So let's construct the moving pivot. And we'll do that by measuring this circle. 
be putting it here. And we'll measure this di dimension. And we'll put it here. Okay. The intersection of those two points is our moving pivot. Intersect here and here. And that gives us our segment, our crank. Hide the circles. Connect the moving pivot to the coupler point. And now all we have to do is construct the leg. We'll construct the leg the same way. We'll measure these two angles. Measure the angle from here to here and down at 6C. So we'll draw that one in here. And we'll draw that line from here to here. Now we'll measure the other angle. And, down. and that's row. So we'll have that line here. And row. And there is our leg mechanism. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Find the intersection of these two lines. That's our leg. Now we're going to have to move things around. We'll use the static model to move things around, just to make sure that we get a foot trajectory that we like. Um, I don't know of any way to do this graphically, except by trial and error. Let's hide some of these other points that we don't need. Now let's trace this trajectory. And that's not the kind of foot trajectory that we want. But what we can do is we can move things around until we get one that we like. Actually looking promising. It's actually not so bad. Not right off the bat. Let's rotate it around so we can get it against the ground. Let's pick a point here so that we can see what it looks like. We'll make this the ground. Okay, now let me adjust things a little bit. If I pull this point down, it makes it bigger. If I pull it up, it makes it a little bit smaller, but that, that looks good. It's a little bit high. If I move this point, it's still high. Let's see what happens when I move this point. Okay, that kind of flattens the front. Oops, I want that. What if I go ahead and adjust this a little bit? Okay, that's changing my coupler curve, but that actually doesn't look bad. That's not helping. That doesn't look so bad. That doesn't look bad. I can't decide what a necessarily good foot trajectory should be. I think this requires experimentation. All right, now we'll 
put it on the ground. That doesn't look so bad. Let's see what it looks like. Let's reverse it. Well, once you have your leg mechanism, you can adjust it to try to get the foot trajectory you want. But this is the basic principle of uh, the clan linkage, the six bar mechanism, uh, leg mechanism based on the Stevenson 3 six bar.